we recognize, I think many others are coming to recognize, that consumers deserve a better deal online. The value exchange uh, that we are asking of consumers in exchange for their time and attentiveness um, needs to be far more um, in their favor, right? It is high time that um, consumers are restored to their rightful place in the three-legged stool between marketers and publishers. Um, and things like ad blocking, things like uh, regulatory schemes such as GDPR, things like browsers reader modes and intelligent tracking protection, all of these things are strong indications that consumers have recognized that they are the product and they're not happy about that and they're lashing out as a result of that. And so, you know, we believe in GDPR, um, but we believe it's a first step. We believe that to really improve that value exchange with consumers, you have to go much bigger and much larger. So give us your quick take on GDPR. It's quite early on, but uh, give us some, you know, takeaways or observations you've had. It is still early days, and you know, here we are in the middle of June. May 25th came and, and went, and you know, on, on the plus side, the world did not come to an end. Um, I think there were uh, some prognostications that it would become nuclear winter for digital marketing, and then some prognostications that it would be uh, a big nothing burger. It would be this generation's Y2K. Um, neither of them, of course, turned out to be accurate. Um, there are still additional shoes that are yet to drop on GDPR. And frankly, you know, GDPR is one regulatory scheme in, in one part of the world. Um, there are other movements in other parts of the world um, to enact similar uh, legislation. We have seen a decrease in available inventory uh, in uh, the European economic area since 25th, um, but we are not having challenges executing all of the spend that our marketers are, are looking to do, um, owed in great part to our preparedness and our counterparties on the supply side, as well as our marketers' preparedness to be able to function effectively in the post-GDPR uh, climate. And what about accountability and marketing and sort of from the buy side, what, what, what are you hearing? Um, we're hearing that consumers uh, want to connect with brands that add value to their lives and to their experiences. They don't want ads that are annoying or distracting or are there to simply uh, be a novelty into getting uh, unearned clicks or unearned conversions. They want experiences that connect them with the brand in a positive way. And they want ad environments that connect them with the brand and the media property in a positive way. When you think about the way the consumers in general view digital advertising, um, it's not good. Uh, versus when you think about how consumers view advertising that entertains and enriches um, things like movie trailers, right? Things like the Super Bowl demonstrate time and again, year in, year out, that there is a good way to do this. There is a good way to connect consumers with brands that they love or that they will love. Um, and marketers are recognizing that. Um, publishers, I think, as well, are beginning to recognize that. The misaligned incentives that have existed for so long in our industry of, well, hey, it's Q4 and I want to make more money. I have four ad slots on the page. If I add a fifth slot, that's a great way to make 20% more revenue, right? Um, that, of course, doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work long term. It doesn't even work in the midterm. And I think publishers who are savvy and who are going to survive and thrive in this new era recognize that and are taking steps to work with marketers on better experiences and better outcomes.